when we came into the season overall, there was a lot of confidence across the team. And that's because our team really turned around in the two years prior to that and had really committed a lot of time and energy into things like physical conditioning. Lifts were really intense, agility was intense, but I think everyone on the team and the coaches were all on the same page. So we were all working towards a common goal. And I think having that kind of motivation with each other was so important. And that was like pushing each other. That was like holding each other accountable. That was really going hard when, when our coaches weren't there or like going the extra mile, doing the extra thing all the time. And it's really, it's difficult to do that. It's really difficult to like maintain that level of focus and intensity and intention. Um, and that year things clicked. I will probably never forget um, the Harvard match. And Harvard was a clinch match. So that was, I think, a lot of electricity in the air and a lot of tension too. I remember running back and forth between courts, trying to cheer people on individually. And I remember when it came down to Bianca, we were all, we were all going insane. I was in my third set and I think one of, like it was like two other teammates were playing at the same time. And one of them was winning and one of them was losing. And I, I wish I could remember exactly what happened, but I know just one person lost and I was like, okay. But somewhere deep in the third set is kind of like when everything switched and it was definitely like a, okay, I have to do this now. But getting that win I think was I remember a lot of fun and we rushed the clincher too. So I think that was a great win. And I think that win actually ended us, ended up helping us win the entire IVs. We really came into the Princeton match just saying, this is it, you know, we're not gonna give it up. And we worked way too hard to just let it go because we lost one match. I think a lot of it came down to us, you know, beforehand, really wanting to come out, firing. But once we got onto the court, the tennis was taking care of itself. We weren't overthinking everything. All of the training, all of the doubles formations that we were working on, those were just clicking and it was happening automatically. We went in to work and that was it. And like, there was like literally no like room for questioning and no one was questioning themselves. And I think like that day we were really like, this is what we need to do. And no one was playing with any fear, a lot of confidence. And then we all went to Carmine's um, to celebrate because it was kind of like that was the end of our season. It was our last match. And I would say dinner was pretty tense. We were trying to make jokes, but we were all like, please, just please let us end up winning. And when we actually got the final call that like, okay, Yale ended up losing, we all actually started cheering and singing Roar Lion Roar in the restaurant. I think we looked a little bit insane. When we got to campus, somebody threw out the idea of, you know, going to alma mater going up to the steps and singing the fight song. We all ran to low steps, we took the picture, people were asking us questions, we were trying to answer, but also celebrate at the same time. Uh, and I think, honestly, it, it all came out just the way it was supposed to be. And I think we were all on a really high feeling for quite a few weeks after that.